function and division. Suppose we have this. Say we have G equals 2H plus C. So this is going to be an exercise in recalling the language of algebra. There's a number next to a letter or a variable. So that means there's a invisible multiplication sign. This is two times H. Now we want to follow the order of operations. Recall that we always do multiplication first before we do addition or subtraction. So let's choose a value for H. So what I'm going to do, choose a value for C, say negative two. Well, let's not go negative. Let's just go positive two. And what will happen here is, and again, the value of G will change depending on choices of H and C that we made. So how do we interpret this? Now, G is equal to two times H. Now, H is a three. Two times a number, that's when we do insert or we make sure the multiplication sign becomes visible. So, because if we don't, we get the 20 and that's not what we want. We want two times whatever choice we made, not the number 23. We want two times three, since we're choosing H to be three. Two times three plus, and then the number we chose for C was two. There we go. So G is well two times three is six and then we add the six and the two we find out g is eight when we let h be three and c be two now you'll see this in formulas a lot when they replace a variable with a number and there's a multiplication going on they don't always use the dot Instead of this, what you'll see is another way of writing multiplication using this. Now, you might recall with negative numbers, we would put parentheses around a negative number just to kind of, you know, not have the plus signs and the minus signs all get, you know, pushed together. This is another use of double parentheses. Double parentheses mean two times three. You'll run into this quite a bit. And we go about the exact same way. This is six plus two or eight. And we're done. So same answer as before. Now suppose we have division. Suppose we want to choose a value for M and let's make it a little more interesting. Let's call it, say, 7M, do something like that. Well, say we let M, but M equals a 6, M is 6. So again, we're going to replace this as 7. Now we could write, I'll go through with the dot notation. And I'll do the same thing with the parentheses notation. But now it's seven times six, and we got to put in the time so we don't accidentally get the number 76, which is not what we want. We want seven times a number, and the number we chose was six, so that's seven times six. So seven times six is 42. And remember, when we work with these kinds of problems where we have arithmetic, we want to make everything in the top and in the bottom, single number, single number, divide at the very, very end. All right, well, let's try to figure this one. So 42 divided by three, what's that going to be? Going to be 14. That's our answer. All right. Now, the other way of doing this. We 
we could use parentheses to mean seven times six divided by three. Or 42 divided by three. That's 14. So we can do that also. So that's an introduction to formulas with multiplication and division. Any questions, let me know.